What's up, y'all? It's Debbie Dubs, and this is my gag city attire. What's up, y'all? It's Debbie Dubs, and this is my gag, gag city attire. attire. The gaggers, is, I don't know. What's up, y'all? It's Debbie Dubs, and we're here in Gag City, ready for La Mickey's fifth studio album, Pink Friday 2. I just want to say I don't know why my eye is so red. I'm not sick. I don't have pink eye or anything. Only thing I can think of is I took a shower before this reaction and when water gets in my eyes, they get really red. But like that was hours ago. Maybe it just wanted to be pink for Gag City. I'm going to it right now. I cannot wait to see it on streaming. I'm actually gonna cry. I'm not going to. I won't let myself. No, I will. I'm going to. <gasps> it's right here. It's out. 22 tracks, okay. Before we even talk about, oh my God, okay. She didn't give us any hints towards the track list, except a few minutes ago, she said Billy Eilish was gonna be on it. I don't know which track, but let's just go through all these track names real quick before we start listening. Are you gone already? Barbie Dangerous. It just goes, I know she's about to go off. She's really about to go off, I know it, okay. FTCU, I don't know what that means. Beep beep, falling for you. Let me calm down featuring J. Cole. That's what I need to do. R&B with Lil Wayne and Tate Cobain. Pink Birthday, Needle featuring Drake. Cowgirl featuring Lordies. Everybody featuring Lil Uzi Bird. Big Difference. <laughs> Red Ruby the Sleeves. Forward from Trini featuring Skilly Bang and Skang. Pink Friday Girls, Super Freaky Girl, Bomb Bomb, My Life, Nicki Hendrix featuring Future. Blessings, oh my god, oh my god. And it's 22 tracks, this is great. Blessings featuring Tasha Cobb, Leonard, last time I saw you in Just the Memories. Okay. What? <laughs> There's really nothing to say. I want to listen to this ASAP. Usually when I have like a new album, I like to do like a, uh, a karaoke thing. But I don't want to. I want to get straight to the music, okay? <laughs> These are happy tears. I'm excited. Uh, thirsty. It's not that deep. I haven't heard anything yet. I haven't even heard anything yet. <laughs> oh my god. I'm pretty sure earlier Nikki tweeted something like she was just a few seconds into the first song and she started crying. Well, I got you beat, bitch. I'm zero seconds into a song and I'm already here. So, let me center myself. Here we go with track number one, Are You Gone Already? <laughs> oh! An interpolation of when the party's over. This is gonna eat already. This is gonna eat. I mean, should I also pick acclaimed three tracks? I really don't know anything about anything. I'm just not, okay. I think Barbie Danger, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just gonna pick at random to what looks good to me so we can really get into it. Barbie Danger is gonna be one of my claim tracks. Pink Birthday is gonna be one of my claim tracks. And then I low key wanna say Needle also. What you doing, Papa? Hi. No, Papa. Say hi. I'm so intrigued. How's she gonna come in on this? her father because he passed away and he never got to meet Papa Bear. Oh, that's so sad. I will say this is sick. I like what she's doing here, but it would have been so sick to actually get a Billy feature. Like if Billy, like if they came up with something new. 
I will say I like the way that she's using the interpolation. I, it's pretty simple. Like all she did was like speed it up and the pitch got higher. Nothing is different for real, for real. But I like the way she's using it in her own way. And the way she came in on that first verse hit me. I was not expecting it to go like that. So dear Onika, yes, we're Onika. Don't stress Onika, so blessed Onika. Yeah. Today is 12, 3, 23. Your baby's three. He's the best Onika. Why would anyone want to love me? Rich, yes, but are you happy? Yes, all is guilt you. She knows you know too much already. Ooh, that was nice. I only heard you if you let me cry. I have mixed emotions. Now that I've like settled into the fact that we got new music, I like this, but I also have a few complaints about it. Not complaints, but one, I want to say I like the interpolation, but I also think there was too much interpolation. Too much when the party's over and not enough new Nicki, if that makes sense. Especially for this to be the o open. Once again, it should have been an original song featuring Billy and not so much when the party's over Billy. But I like this song so much lyrically just because it ties in the three generations. Nicki's dad, Nicki herself, and then Nicki's son. I think that makes this a, a genius intro. I like the lyrical content, but I think the production and instrumental could have been better in terms of like what it was. It was very emotional also, I will say. Here we go with track number two, Barbie Dangerous. <laughs> oh, if you hear laughing at the beginning, you know that there's some type of eatery coming. Whenever you hear some type of laughing, a laugh track, just know. <laughs> Hey yo, Barbie dangerous. We bitches don't endanger us. You are over, you ain't in range of us. Cause I won one, one, one angel number. Come on. Fashion some Burberry rain pool. Looking like every designer fake muse. Front row next to the who's who. Trying to build another Barbie doll school's loose. They my rapper that can channel big pop and push Woo! up. Home she's, she's spitting. Speedy spitting. Too fast for me. Brain is overloading. Too fast, too fast, slow down. Who trying to build another Bobby Dow school's loose? Name my rapper, e. like a channel big pop and push out, pop a big home, my buddy, yeah. Every time I rock, come out to walk, bitches make them disappear, but to me it's just another year. She ain't got the kind of flair, let me see what I'ma wear, they gon' copy, I'ma wear mine clear. Big who she got the right one, I leave that bitch, they got the leg none. Hitty on feet, got that. Come on, referencing her own geniusness? Referencing her own geniusness. What's that song called? It's the one with Meek Mill and Chris Brown. It's the one with Meek Mill and Punchy. Is you drunk? Is you had enough? This first verse flew by also. She ate that. The line where she said, try to build another Barbie doll, screws loose. Never ever they can channel big Papa and push out Papa. Oh, I can't even say it. Appreciating my salad too. Be faint my go too. But I got bags of this bread if we buying food. And I'm still queening. Chanel bags, they still swinging. All hits, they still swinging. They let it flow, they still streaming. How do jealous bitches move? From slow change, I got some slow change. They don't know the hat till they cracked in two. So come on, be with who, wait, who? Broke a couple rap niggas, hops in two. Now I'm my job trying to interview. They so pretty, that's they thick. Be with who, she got the right one. All these rap bitches ain't got the leg none. Pity on fake, I got the tight one. Pick one, take it, I got the right one. These rap bitches you like is my son. Stick them on this rap shit when I'm done. Oh, she ate that completely. Oh, yeah, she, she spat nastily. Here we go with FTCU. Fuck this club up. Fuck this, fuck this club up. So that's what it means. Fuck this club up. Fuck this, fuck this club up. Fuck this club up. Fuck this, fuck this club up. Oh, this is my E. Tell them that I'm the sleaze. They telling me, okay, prove it. I lead these bitches on red, so now they know that they do it. I tell them I'm moving units. My videos, they gon' do it. Yeah. If I ain't got a lot, they really streaming my music. Animation spot fine, got a lot. They really streaming my music. Bitch, we ain't tenant, ain't fraternal or identical. When I'm around, bitch, you know you be cut invisible. Ooh. Who wanna play with Nikki? Got the power, I could tell my niggas. Deep voice, Nikki? Deep voice down in that bag, low Nikki? 
Who wanna play with Nikki? That's a, that's literally what she does. She goes that low. I know this is my favorite type of La Mickey. La Mickey Minaj. The lowest of low La Mickey. Mine is like 50. Mine was 950. Oh. oh, this is easy. I don't know if this is a sample of something, but this right here, the way the it's just his voice and then that bass. Oh yeah. They ate this. Hi, heels on my tippies. Do say and go banana dust on my tippies. Pop. Don't play with her flows. I gotta I'm never gonna get through this album. And this is track three only. Got the juice, bitch, by a sippy. I will never sippy like the Mickey. La Mickey. Tori Lane, bitch. I'm not Iggy. I Oh. Ooh, ooh. Is this a shot both at, at Hobbit and uh, Iggy? Because I remember she got, <laughs> she got caught writing a letter talking about his character, how he's a good character and stuff. She tried to lie and say that that's not what she said, but the letter was, was open to the public and, and everybody read it and, and, and she got caught in a lie. So. Who wanna play with Nikki? Got the power, I could tell my nigga spray like 50. Distribute about a million dollars worth the bricks. Give me my ten, ten. Then take away two. I ate it up again. Oh! Here we go with track number four, Beep Beep. Hey, yeah. so nice. I drop a bag on the rolls with the Tim Tags. My niggas lock scamming money off they pen pals. Uh. They got out the Jeep just to fuck them in the backseat. I'm not impressed, that's the Yoda D. Come on. Is that you talking to me? Is that deep? I don't even know you exist. Is that deep? When niggas get their jaw broke, hey, is that deep? Oh. Oh. That's it. Bo Why would she do that? Why would she do that? Why the hell would she do that? She has an issue. There's no reason this song is a minute and 35 seconds. I was just getting into it. And you want to cut it off? Track number four, Falling For You. Hey, yo. Told him shoot a shot like it's made up. Now I'm falling for him like a raindrop. Come on. Done that, run that, yo Patty, give me the gun back. I ain't really trying to let them in. Come on. But if he a G, it's a win-win. Can't play the queen before the king king. Bitch, I'm the pink prince. Tell him to kiss the pink ring. Yeah. I think I'm for you. They like them, they fight them, they come in, they tug it. I kill them, I beat them, I see them, they duck it. He know my looks for kill. These bitches down to shake their ass to show sex appeal. Oh, this sounds so beautiful. There's a gap between us, but also gap like the, the the shopping store gap, like at the at the mall that you go to the gap. No way, it's a fact. Pinching my hair, giving wet and wavy strawberry dad. Yo, matter of fact, let me take that back before they steal that. Pinching me open in the vault, bitch, I steal that. Yeah. Pinching not listening when I said you would read that. I'm mm. a rock ho, a chop ho. I'm number one. Y'all go argue over top. Oh, the hair reference is right there. Picture you ending up under the seat where you dread that. Picture not listening when I said that you would dread that. I mean locked, ho. You use a chop, ho. Dread, locked, chop. Oh, this vocal part is so heavenly. Yeah. Watching my every move. Ooh. B got intense right there. 
But I love about her so much is that she has endless topics, endless ways of showcasing her versatility. Whether it's like the instrumental, her vocals, her rapping, her cadence, her animation. Like there's just so many different things that's happening all at once that you're never gonna get the same type of thing ever. How she goes from rapping so hard and aggressive to sounding so heavenly and just like very vocal and airy during those moments. Like I love how she can just switch it up in an instant. Here we go with track number six, Let Me Calm Down, featuring J. Cole. Here is the first official feature on the album. <laughs> I love like the mixture of like instrument plus voice and it's like creating this distortion like you don't know when it's Nicki or when it's an instrument but I, they did that on purpose. Yeah. Ooh, I love the breaks in her cadence. Space when I really need it. Dun, 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 I love that. Oh, she got soft right there. Just did a detox. Now I want a spot. That was such a mouthful. I'm literally listening to him and I have the lyrics in front of me and still I'm unable to process a lot of what he said. I'm unable to process a lot of what's been said in these first five songs. So if y'all catch anything and wanna let me know some stuff down in the comments, feel free to do that because I know a lot is going over my head. Yeah, that verse was excellent. I really enjoyed that. Oh, this was a really good one. I really like this one. I like this one melodically. When the song sounds good melodically and her voice also matches in a very good melodic soft way, I really like it. And that's what this was. What I was drawn to the most was J. Cole's verse and then Nicki singing in the song. Those two parts really made this work for me. Track number seven, R&B featuring Lil Wayne and Tate Cobain. <laughs> Come on. His ex bitch is mad and they ought to be. Body your work of art like the Mona Lee. Yeah. It's a lot of y'all, only one of me. Kissing on my thighs and my breast, he two piece. Come on. I just wanna watch him. Thighs and breast, two piece. She's referencing chicken here, okay? Let me get a two piece. Can I get a thigh and a breast? If you love me, baby, to my whole name. We love me while they hating, cause they so lame. Other niggas shoot, they shot, but they got no pain. No pain. I've never heard this artist before, but I really like his voice. Come on. I was waiting for somebody to mention R&B music. Like, I was, I was literally waiting for that connection. Pop that pussy for a real nigga. I'ma mop that pussy like it's real nigga. Make a pop that pussy like a real nigga. I'ma make a swap that pussy for a real nigga. If she get a hey, pop that pussy. That was nice. That was nice. Pop that P for a real. So like, you know, the, the P down there. Make her pop that P like a pill. 
I'm gonna make her swap that P for real. So like, he's talking about the P down there, but at the same time, he just called the current guy that she's with a P and swap him out for real, like me. You get it? Like she, he's using P in multiple ways. I make a lot that pussy and conceal that click. About to buy a fake booty for a real ass bitch. Yeah, cree cree, run a secret, she don't have to be. I just need your body, body like you must be. He wanna make the streets take it one of me. She a real nigga, bitch, I call it R B. We was on the block, now it's houses and they're gated. Ooh, this one was so pleasing. I like Tate's singing and I like Nikki's rapping. So like I would've, if I had to rank it, I would say Nikki, Tate, then Lil Wayne in terms of like my favorite parts of the song. Tate kinda carried. But Nikki's first verse, she ate that. And then Lil Wayne's wordplay, he ate that. This is actually a really good one. Let me mark this one. All right, here we go with track number eight, one of my claimed tracks, Pink Birthday. Speaking of birthdays, happy birthday to La Mickey. I don't know if I said that at the beginning of the video. I was planning on saying it, but I got overwhelmed, so. Yeah, y'all know I started having allergies. <laughs> I don't like the what she's referring to when she said ice cream running down my ass cheeks. Like I just don't like that imagery. <laughs> She's nasty. I love this beat and the way she started writing it. He like the way I smell. PF too. He been me up. Yet, so. Oh, her new fragrance that just came up. Pink Friday too is literally what it's called. Low key, cause we just that ill now. Ain't never had an ill bitch till now. Post a pick, got him checking like June now. Come on. Break the internet at will now. Are you serious again? Why is this song one verse long? She did chorus, verse, chorus, and the song. That's not allowed. That's n that's not legal in Gag City. She might have to get kicked out of her own city, I fear. <laughs> She's gonna have to get escorted out if she keeps doing this. Like this beat just eats too. Like you didn't wanna ride it a little bit longer. You just have to, you have to cut it like that. You have to give it to us like that. She ain't even prepping for shit like that. Track number nine. Another one of my claim tracks, Needle, featuring Drizzy Drake. I don't know what my girl is. I saw Shayla at seven. Maybe we had too much tequila. What makes you think you go with me now? Stop it right now. Friends will play some is about our love. Heard it tight now. Stop it right now. Friends, they like it better when you're down. Let's not talk about it. It's just you and me. I just wanna put up the maybe I can bend your leg up. You could stay back. I could stay back. I could take back. Come on. Come and lay back. Want our way back. Yeah. Make a movie. Watch the playback. Yeah. Now I don't say that. I don't play that. Shade of like silhouettes. Spinning like pirouettes. It gave nothing, bitch. Thank you for zero net. Damn, you see another bit of rest. Shut up, my intellect. I just wanna put up the maybe I can bend your leg up. Don't delay that. This one's a vibe. This one's just very chill.
Yeah, this one was so relaxing. This one was a, a calm banger. Um, like I just feel relaxed now. This is literally one of those songs you just close your eyes and vibe to. What I like about this one is like, they're just talking about spending time with the person that they love. This is a unique person. This is a, a needle in a haystack. Literally a rarity, one of one. And you just want to be with them. You want to spend time with them. He literally says, you're like a needle, life's a haystack. Friends, they can leave us. You could stay back. Like, everybody else can go. Just me and you. Let's have our one-on-one. -on -one. Let's have our relaxing, relaxation, calm time. And I think they conveyed that really well because I'm relaxed and calm. Here we go with... Track 10, Cowgirl featuring Lordies. 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 I don't know how to pronounce it. Who the fuck is this? I think I might know this bitch. I saw this bitch pulling up. Come on. Talking about boys. Like a flight for a trip. Said he don't drink, but he might take a sip. Yeah. Be on point when you come to the scene. Oh, I love her flow in this and her cadence and her tone and, and all of it. I have to start the, her verse over. Hey, yo, who the fuck is this? I think I might know this bitch. I saw this bitch pulling up in a slip. Yeah. Talking about the pack and like a flight for a trip. Hey, yo, one, two, check one. Yeah. That switch up right there. That is crazy. Do you see? Like it's just the little things that get me. Literally the tiniest things. That for some reason this part just blows my mind. That switch up is nuclear. Like there's about to be an explosion somewhere. <laughs> She sounds so cute. I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't really feeling the chorus before, but like now that it's my third time hearing it, I'm feeling it. I like it. I just started doing a little dance. Yeah, that's all I needed to say. Like it, it was just okay at first, but I, I'm it's grown on me. It grew on me that fast actually. <laughs> I like those harmonies. The 808. It's thumping. Like the time that this took to grow me was actually scary. Not that I hated that chorus. There was nothing wrong with it, but I just thought it was like repetitive and it was kind of catchy, but I wanted it to change in some way and not be the same type of melody over and over. So I was like, it's okay. And then of course, Nikki's verse eight, the verses, all of them eight, the way she would start with one type of sound and then switch just to this like cute girl at the end. But the chorus kept getting me. Every time I heard it, it kept pulling me in more and more until I'm finally harmonizing and singing with it. They knew what they were doing. Very smart. Smart girl, smart girl. I may be alone in this statement, but I feel like Doja Cat would sound really good on this song. Maybe like if she sang the chorus, like the way that this girl sang the chorus, or if she even had a verse of her own, I feel like this is very Doja Cat coded and her sounding good on this type of track. This was a good one. All these songs have surprised me in some way or another. They've all been really good. Here we go with track 11, Everybody featuring Lil Uzi Vert. What is that? What is that? Oh, not as being called everybody. I think that's what the the sample song is also called. 
Ain't gang if you let shit slide. Ain't bad if you got a dick ride. Big guns and a lot of zip ties. Says she look like me, quit lying. Gonna kill me. Beat bitch as fuck. A nigga tell her no. Not her starting the course, we're gonna spin and kill and then using the sample to say everybody, not violence. <laughs> <laughs> but not just violence, but violence targeted at everybody. Like, like you can all catch, catch it actually. actually. Every single one of you. All of you. <laughs> I can see why Lil Uzi is gonna be on this song. This sounds like his hip song. Like, I feel like I can do the hip thing to this. Stop. Okay, I actually want to get up and try to do the dance for real because I can't do it sitting down. I look goofy, but if I stand up and try to do it, y'all ain't never seen me stand up before. Y'all know I'm I'm six foot two, so. I'm a multi million dollar home. Hollow points when they go through your body. Washing them bitches bathing. You be kissing all over my. Get a stick to fit in a row. I ate that. Did I? I don't know. I might have looked just dumb on camera just now. Who knows? That was kind of exhilarating. I should stand up more often in these videos. I love that part, actually. I love that she's adding these things at the end of the sentence. For some reason, this chorus is giving, like, house vibes a little bit. Like, it's giving, like, and especially the way she's saying words, like, target, neutralize, trigger. Like, it's, it's, it's a little bit of houseness that makes it sound cool. I don't know. He not using body to complete his phrases. Like, this is giving me same vibes. Like, Nikki tried to use as many sentences as she could that ended correctly with body at the end. The way that she kept using like different words and um, sir with future, I always use this example, like the male on the song never goes as hard as Nikki does. Like she said, I'm whipping for us to make them go faster. Something, something, Aretha, I just passed her. Like just kept using a bunch of different words, but they were different words. And then future comes on, he just kept saying sir over and over. Sir, sir, sir. Sir. And now she's using a bunch of sentences that end with body as much as possible. And then Lil just saying whatever. Hey. Hey, hey. This one really got me moving. I like this one simply because of the high energy. Like this one has really high energy, more than like any songs that we've heard so far. I can see this one being played at parties and, and people will literally do that hip dance because it's that type of song. Like this could be a TikTok banger, a TikTok hit. Yeah, this is definitely the highest energy song we've heard so far. Here we go with the next track, Big Difference. Yeah, I like my honey's blue. Brr, brr, brr. Yeah, this is about to eat. I don't know why I didn't put this in my top three, but it should have been. I just, I feel it coming already. I'm gonna have to get up again. I just start doing that. Like, whenever I feel it too much, let me just get up and dance. I feel like that's gonna add some excitement, you know? If I want to get up and move, I'm gonna get up and move, you know? <laughs> it's a big difference between me and you. I ain't nothing like you, you, you or you. Uh, I'm on a whole nother level, these bitches is out of their league These bitches ain't batting like me, you bitches ain't better than me So you look up to her, but really you look up to me I can be playing with niggas, <laughs> married and married This instrumental just goes so hard, so hard I don't think y'all get it, I don't think y'all really getting it Like, 
wow. Like, I don't think y'all are getting it. Like, wow. Like, I don't think y'all are getting it. Like, wow. Tell them the shit they pull up from the three. When bitches be rapping and laughing and selling through trying to me. I'm who you dying to be. Will somebody cop all these groupies a ticket? Because I'm who they dying to me. When Bobby touched down. The baddest of bitches is out. Like, my hand is blue. Bad bitches, yeah. I keep them by the two. It's a big difference between me and you. This is all new material. Yeah, listen. Uh, we not the same, you my opposite. I am the queen, you my opposite. Yeah. The corniest bitches be popping shit. Everything a Fendi. Yeah. You know I just dropped my shit. <laughs> I just put the rose up on me. Got the Draco for whoever rolls up on me. Huh? Teacup on me. Trying to be dark. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Where did this come from? How she had this from us like this? Oh my god. I am the queen, you my opposite. shit. The corniest bitches be popping shit. Everything offendy. Yeah. You know I just dropped my shit. I just put the rose up on me. Got the Draco for whoever rolls up on me. Uh, this the new Bottega open toes. Who gon' tell her that it's Barbie, bitch, how Barbie knows? Uh, couldn't see me with a hologram. Like my, like my, like my, like my hun is blue. She said, let me fade in, you bitches. Let me fade in. Like my, 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 is blue. Yeah, this song is it for me. Like my, like my, like my, like my, is blue. Bad bitches, yeah, I keep them by the two. It's a big difference between me and you. And y'all, ain't one of the difference. They ain't the one of the two or the three or the four, so don't add up to me. Wait, she ate that. One, two, three, or four, and you still don't add up to her. You just can't compare. There's a big difference. There's a gap. What was that one song she talked about, the gap? Mm-hmm. Ooh, that ate so much harder than I uh, uh, originally ever thought it would. All right, here we go with track 13, a single that we all know and love, Red Ruby the Sleeves. We're gonna listen to a little bit of it here. If you wanna see the full reaction, it's on my channel somewhere. You can go find it. Only on them seas if it's breeze. Red ruby the sleeves, Chinese on my sleeve. These wanna be Chun Li's anyway. We out. Chun Li. Fuck told bitches they was mean now. Marry the shooter case you niggas tried to breathe loud. Boom your face off, then I tell them cease fire. I'm the A B seven hundred on the horses when we fixing the lead. When I dip, it's flips all in the whip. It's forties with thirty clips. F ends with the switch. Guacamole with the taco. Wait no El Chapo. Came in the rose and left low in the like us. Just wanna come out like a cop roast until I'm cooking in the kitchen like a pot roast. That new specter, we don't fill potholes. Do our veto bitches mad that they not chose? I run businesses. If I ain't employ you, then what your business is? I have staff roll up like what the business is. Don't you don't know that my niggas kill witnesses? But y'all don't da da da. Hundred rounds on a da da. I damn near just listened to the whole song, even though I said we were gonna listen to a little bit of it. What a buy, what a banger. What a ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Here we go with track 14, Forward from Trini, featuring Skillabang and Skang. Oh, does it transition from Red Ruby to this? Hold on. Oh no, because it's a fade out. I got the lyrics right in front of me and I'm barely making out what he's saying. Wow. It, it, it's hard right here. It's hard for Debbie Dove right here. Yeah, this is a great man. I love it. Yeah, yeah. And your nails, you know, feel when I dump it. Come in on your mouth. I can tell you that she has smile like a summer tears. Like I'm calling her. Hello. 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 They gotta look to me for what's next. Come on. Too busy trying to trace my footsteps. Get up my account and send me go and shop. Run the pussy goods to bum the last one. Trinidad, Jamaica, pop shit. Hey. Got me in the Barbados and then get top shit. Bahamas, St. Thomas, Turks and Caicos. Relief, St. Kitts, Haiti, and Legos. Out for Alvin Kelly, they love me. Down in Valley, they love me. Let me try to pin the bitch in the room. Book pipes, handle the missing. My name comes up violent. I
not that, what is that called, an accordion? I don't know what instrument that was, but that was, that was very random and funny for them to add at the end. Uh, this song was alright. The beat was nice. The beat goes crazy. I would say out of all the songs I've heard so far, this one is probably at the bottom. Here we go with track 15, Pink Friday Girls. Oh, she's using a lot of samples for this album. And they're like, and the way that she's using them, they're very like, they're not subtle. Like they're very in your face, if that makes sense. Like the samples are very recognizable and they're quickly recognizable. From the Everybody one to the Billie Eilish one, the Barbie Girl one, the Red Ruby the Sleeve sample, like she's very sample heavy and they're clear, like they're not, hidden they're not tucked away they're very just loud and apparent almost like she's giving props to these people like paying mortgage to them you know It's just the way that she's able to switch up her sync up, like the way she's able to switch up her sentences, her her rapping, her rhyming, just at any given moment, it throws you off, but it's so sick. But I need to be tight, I need summer I fly. You're like a hell of a guy, with a nigga on his eye, oh. Oh, period. Oh, that uh, word painting. The way she took out some of the instrumental and made that that kick like really sound like a heartbeat during the line where she says, my heart skip a beat. But also, her mentioning super bass and then her having the super bass cadence earlier. You're like, Pele can fly. I love that. Red cups like double D. Chanel bags everywhere, that's double C. Uh, you wish bitch bot in your dreams. You know we get into the bag, keeping it a bean. They said, they said, what? Oh, yeah, I seen. You doing great, Alex, in the world, so I'm a queen. Oh, period. This song just made me kind of open my eyes to something, but I don't know if I should be the one to have this conversation because I, as a, people view me as a Beyonce stand first and foremost. So I've noticed that like, when a Hive member kind of talks about something, they, people always view it kind of like, oh, this person is talking about it from a superior point of view. So there's a conversation I want to have about sampling because Renaissance is literally an album full of samples. But I feel like I might not be the one to have this conversation. Well, somebody that I actually really, I love the way that they talk about things because they have a very like smooth way of talking about things that could be considered controversial or things that could like upset Stan Twitter, but they have a very chill way of navigating through things is Bobby Foster. And I kind of hope he talks about the sample thing that I want people to talk about. Not necessarily to attack Nikki, but I kind of want to have a conversation about sampling is becoming like the norm, but there are people who can sample and make things very, I, I guess, I don't know if discreet is a word. Like I said, I shouldn't be the one to have this conversation because I just don't know how to say things the right way without offending people. But the way Nikki is sampling here is very different from the way Beyonce is sampling and I'm not saying one is better than the other but I am saying Nikki and the way that she's sampling right now is very in your face like you know what's being sampled Renaissance however um, of course there are some samples that are you know like recognizable like the laws for energy I feel like that might have been the most recognizable one or like break my soul the Madonna remix the Queens remix but like you don't know what song is being sampled in America has a problem like, you don't know. You don't know who's being sampled in Alien Superstar when he says the DJ Booth is conducting a ch ch troubleshoot test of the entire system. Like, what I'm trying to say, and we're going to 
get back into the music in a second. But what I'm trying to say is like, when Beyonce is sampling, it's kind of like she turns the entire song into something new. Whereas Nicki is... <sighs> I don't know if I want to say it, because I'm not trying to upset anybody. But this is a conversation I do want to have, or at least see someone have. Because like I said, there's not one correct way to do it. Not one way is better than the other. But there is like, Nicki's putting the samples right in your face, and then Beyonce's kind of like hiding the samples and creating new music with it. But even saying it like that makes it seem like I'm dissing Nicki, and that's not what I'm trying to do. Like I'm literally telling you right now that I don't know how to have this conversation because it seems like I'm dissing her, but I'm not dissing her. I, this is a conversation that I want to have. So Bobby Foster, if you see this, I might just DM him in general because I do want to hear someone talk about it. Anyways, I'm loving the samples. They're getting me moving. They're getting me hype. They're not bad. <laughs> I really want to reiterate that I'm not hating them because I know y'all don't listen sometimes. Y'all really do not be listening to me. Here we go with track number 16. Another song, another sample. This one eats. We've heard it before. We would consider this the lead single, right? All right? Super Freaky Girl. We're going to listen to a little bit of it and then move on to the next track. Let's go. She's all right. That girl's all right with me. I can lick it. I can ride it while you slip it and slide it. Ooh. Why I low-key forgot how much this song eats. Like, I haven't listened to it in a really long time. the cadence just everything it eats it eats it eats i forgot how much of a banger this is wow wow <laughs> okay i'm back my battery died and i don't know where i was in the middle of that conversation i think i was talking about super freaky girl giving it its praise i haven't listened in such a long time but that song eats this is just another one that eats track number 17 a song that we really just all know and love we have to all know and love it if you don't know and love it where have you been Bomb Bomb it originally was not gonna make the album, but because of all the fan love, this is just pure love, pure fan love. It got added to the track list, and now we're here, we're gonna listen to a little bit of it. Uh, uh, ooh, 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 ooh. There I go again, kicking some dumb flow. Think they have a drink, ooh, they just some young ho. Front toe with the roar, how the gun boat roll. Hold on, let me get up and do the dance. That is a mess. I'm sorry. Don't ever run up on me unless you look in the dime. They say my price for dickless. I don't like them bitches. Pussy tight and vicious. Hit them likes to lick this. What a banger. Absolute banger. Every time. It gets me every time. Let's move on <laughs> to track 18, My Life. Ooh. I'm always up and got an Annie. I pull hard on Yeah, I like this one already. Let me turn it up and start it over. I'm always up and got an Annie. I pull hard on never old them like Lammy. Hey, yo. These bitches lucky that I still ain't find a nanny. All of them is my junior, Sammy. Um, Ooh. Like jump rope. If, if the I love that spin on all of them as my sons. All of them as my junior. I got a bigger fish to fry. That's why I got a bigger net. Fish net, but also net worth. Oh, we got another sample. Which Miley Cyrus owns this song. If you've never heard the Miley Cyrus cover, go listen to that. That was such a time. Once I 
she's one of those people who when she covers your song she might snatch it from you Ooh, I like that. No prints on the jammies. Yeah. It's still a tug that ass to sleep like a mammy. I pull strings without the hammy. Bunch of jealous bitches, but I know the real bitches hand me. I pull strings without the hammy. That's fire. Hamstrings. I stole his heart and then I put it in a verse. Come on. He caught feelings when I wrote it in reverse. These bitches mad I did it better in first. This part here? We're going right into the next track, 19, Nicki Hendrix featuring Future. Okay, wait, I just gotta say, the beats have been eating. That beat that we just heard was so clean. It was an interesting choice for Nikki to let Future open the song, but I like it because it definitely went somewhere that I didn't think it was going to go. I don't know. Whenever I imagine Future on the song, I don't imagine Future singing, but he actually sings a lot in music and he sounds good too. Like he's not singing, singing, like vocally singing down. But he, he can hold a little tune and got some, like, effects on his vocal, and I think it works. Like, it sounds good. So her letting him do that on this song and letting him be the first thing that we hear was unexpected, but it was a nice surprise. Not the British accent. Oh, that just reminded me. Oh, I didn't say this earlier, but I should have. If y'all want to, in the comments, let me know, like, which version of Nicki is doing which parts of these songs. Like, when is Roman kicking in? Oh, the one where I said she was rapping too fast and I couldn't even understand what she was saying because she was rapping so fast and I had to rewind it. I feel like that's Roman. But, like, y'all tell me when is Roman, when is Chun-Li, when is Red Ruby. <laughs> That was a clean harmony. That was a really nice harmony, La Mickey. Mm. Her lower register carries. Oh, this outro was everything. Ooh, that outro ate. That chopped and screwed outro, that chopped and screwed outro was everything. That was fire. This was another, like, one of the calm songs, which is so odd, again, because I don't expect Future to be on these type of songs, but it works. And obviously, it works with Nikki too, but I like them together. Like, don't get me wrong, I did talk about Future in a bad way on certain, how he just kept saying 
the word sir over and over and over, but that is a banger. They sound great together. Like their chemistry on the track together is great. Ooh, and Transformer. This might be a hot take, but that's what we're here for. I think I might like Nikki and Future more than Nikki and Drake. Matt Cam. No, because if I really think about it, I listen to Transformers so much. Master Bedroom, two jacuzzis, and a sauna. I could've fixed this life up. Now that I long, I long, long. It's a different tax bracket, upper echelon. I am the bad guy. I am the Decepticon. Yeah, that song eats. And then Sir also eats. Get her a ticket, Sir. She's a fan, Sir. Anyways, yeah, this was a good one. I like this one a lot. Here we go with track 20. Blessings featuring Tasha Cobbs Leonard. Nikki loves this woman. I feel like she, I feel like I'm always seeing her talk about Tasha Cobbs. After that one song, they had a song back in like, what, 2018? I remember listening to it a lot. I don't remember what it was called, but they also ate that song. So I imagine this is gonna be another eatery, another bite. <laughs> Like this production. Now Nikki got this church. <laughs> it's just so funny because Nikki got this church vocalist on this trap beat. Like that's so funny. I don't even know if this is the type of music she makes by herself. Like, is this what she makes solo wise? Like trap gospel music? Or is this only because she's on a Nikki song? That's what has me weak. I think Nikki is the reason that this lady is singing on a hard beat like this. <laughs> Nikki, the inventor of trap gospel. And grace and mercy. When I'm walking through the valley, I will not fear. Come on. I will never be convinced that he is not there. Make no mistake about it, his name is Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> now it's five, I get down on my knees and pray to you. I found my peace in your presence, I put my faith in you. I start a blessing from down when I start praising you. This song is okay, and I know that it's not meant to be funny. I'm only saying it's funny because I know Nicki has this woman singing over a trap beat, singing gospel music over a trap beat. The song itself is not funny. The, the fact that she's always just been faithful and her closeness with God and just like her religion and how that's helped her not give up. I feel, cause I, let's be clear, this woman has had some of the biggest hate trains of all hate trains ever had. So the fact that like she allowed this song to be on her album and she invited Tasha to be on her album also is a, is a really cool thing. So don't think about making fun of that. It's really dope that she is like highlighting this woman and highlighting her faith at the same time amongst all these other songs which are completely different. So like we like that versatility. But then again, the song itself is okay. What it stands for is great. The song itself, all right. Track 21. Last time I saw you, this was a single release before the album. We're gonna listen to a little bit of it. Listen, 
so close, but we were so distant. Wish I had known in that instant. Ignored the hints or I missed it. I killed it. You'd always be in attendance. Ever since um, Beyonce's America Has a Problem jersey mix, every time I hear like a jersey type beat, I just want to do the bad, bad, bad. <laughs> We're down to the very last song, track 22, Just the Memories. That bass is so like, it's so subtle, but I love it. It's giving like a kind of like, not Caribbean, Jamaican vibe, but I, I guess sort of along the lines of that, it's like, doom, doom, doom. Doom, doom, doom. It's very subtle, but I love it. with this instrumental I love this instrumental track it's like it's not Jamaican is not the freaking word but I can't reggae it's kind of like a reggae vibe to it like reggae undertones but then there's this like siren kind of like there's a sharp noise of, doo -doo -doo. it just makes it like very like wide and spacious if that makes sense there's some type of instrument some type of synth that's very like whiny doo -doo -doo. Oh, I love it. That makes this song sound so nostalgic, which I know is what she aimed to do because she's talking about things that she went through in the past. So, like, it matches perfectly the vibe that she wants to give. It's basically word painting. She's talking about these things and giving, like, a nostalgic feel. And the production is also aiding to that feeling. This is gonna get stuck in my head easily. Did I never slid? Look at all this shit that y'all threw at me, and I never did. Greatest female rapper to ever live, and that's for my kid. Absolutely. Overdosed, could have been comatose. Ooh. Me, tell him I was one of one. <laughs> <laughs> and that's true. She is one of one. I know people don't like to give her her props, but I really do genuinely believe that she is the greatest female rapper of all time. I don't know. There's just something that shouldn't be up for debate. And, like, all of her feats and accomplishments, I feel like that should not be a debate. And I don't think that takes away from anybody that's come before her and anybody that's coming after her. It's just that no one's topped her yet. And she's topped the people that came before her. So she's just, she's just the greatest right now. Come on. We slowed it down. Mm. This is how you close out an album. Wow. That's how you close out an album. That was an excellent closer. She made this song feel so grand and just like very nostalgic, very melancholy at the same time. But like 
hopeful and promising and like this is my past this is what I'm showing you but I got so much more to prove I got so much more to come but I do want y'all to remember me as one of the greatest to ever do it like I don't like just it's just written in the stars the the way that this song was produced constructed put together and made the last song on the album was perfect like actually perfect I love the way this ended wow yeah all right, so we just got done listening to Pink Friday 2, La Mickey's fifth studio album, and I have things to say, both good and not so good. We'll start with the not good first and then say what was amazing about it. One, this is a known fact, or not a fact, but this is like a known thing. I think Nicki has always kind of struggled when it comes to giving a cohesive body of work in terms of albums and and it's not just a Nicki thing like if I can be honest it's kind of a rap thing in general a female rap thing maybe is what I can say because I listen to female rap more than just like all rappers it's mostly women they kind of struggle to give a cohesive body of work where songs string together and flow together and even though this was a good album I think this also falls under that category I know this is only my first listen so I'm not going to be too harsh to Pink Friday too but I feel like Queen might be constructed a little bit better I think Pink print might be constructed a little bit better. We have to give this some time. But from like just listening to this first listen, there were moments where it felt more like she just gave us songs that she knew we were gonna eat and not necessarily picking songs, thinking about like sequencing and how the album is gonna make you feel in terms of like cohesivity. Like for example, she threw Bomb Bomb in there. Originally it was a throwaway track but she just threw it in there because she knew how much we liked it. So that just goes to show like, yes, she probably thinks about the sequencing of albums, but also she lets the hits and things that may not fit still be involved. Yeah, and like I said, it's not just a Nicki thing. I'm gonna list off some other female rappers, okay? So don't get upset. <laughs> I think Megan kind of struggles with giving cohesive albums. I think Lotto kind of struggles with giving cohesive albums. I feel like it's easier for singers to give off cohesivity and themes and stuff. But when it comes to rapping, there's a little bit, there's something that's always missing or something that's always a little bit off. There are two rappers who I think do that pretty well. Or, well, there's one rapper who's only given out one album so far, and that is a great, cohesive body of work. I'm not going to give too much praise because I know who we're reacting to, and I know who the ops are to you guys. So I'm treading lightly. And then there's another rapper who is Doja Cat, who I feel like I can say her name without catching any smoke, um, who I think kind of gives a, a good amount of cohesive... Is it cohesion or cohesivity? She gives a good amount of cohesiveness in her music, and... Once again, she does a lot of singing. Even though she's a rapper, she does a lot of singing, so it kind of helps her. Like, there's just something about singing that makes it a little bit easier, in my opinion. This felt more like a collection of bangers. And of course, there are themes in here. Like, I love how she talked about her father a few times. I love how she talked about motherhood a lot. Like, there are themes, but like, just as a whole body of work, it does just sound like hit, 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 which I personally don't have a problem with. Now, onto the good. Hit, 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 hit. Like, I saved so many of these songs. I think I saved a majority of them. She knows how to give hits. She is somebody who has just like an ear for music and knows how to ride the beat and give you so many different flows and switch ups and changes on the beat, on her voice, on her vocals, on her cadence, on her like articulation, on her accents that she gives, on her like intonation. Like, it, it's always changing. It's never going to be the same formula. And that's why I appreciate her so much. And that's why she has the crown, in my personal opinion. Because she always knows how to reinvent herself. Even if she's referencing her old stuff. The way that she referenced Super Bass on this, but still made the song eat and give like... She can just pull from any moment and still just be iconic in any way. So yes, Pink Friday 2 is a great album. It's a great album. Don't get, don't get what I said earlier mixed up and have you thinking that I don't like it. I very much enjoyed this album. I saved 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 out of 22 tracks. So there are 6 songs that I did not save. Those songs are Are You Gone Already, the intro, Beat Beat, uh, Cowgirl, wait, I liked Cowgirl. 
Oops. That was an accident. So I saved, I saved 17 out of 22 tracks. I, for some reason, I didn't have Cowgirl saved, but that was an accident. So what I didn't save are, Are You Gone Already, Beep Beep, Forward From Trini, Super Freaky Girl, Blessings, and that's it. Just those five songs. Everything else, I saved. Of course, there's no skips on here, in my personal opinion, and it's only my first listen, so I'm obviously gonna listen to the whole album without skipping anything, but as I listen more and more, the hits will start to stand out and be differentiated from the ones that don't stand out as much. I don't know if I could pick a top three right now. Like, that's gonna be kinda tough, cause, like I said, she's so versatile in so many different aspects of music making that, like, I could pick just the memories because that song makes me feel good, and that was an excellent closer. But then I can pick Big Difference because she ate. Are you kidding me? Or I can pick Barbie Dangerous. I think that was the one where she was rapping super fast. Or maybe it's FTCU. It was one of those songs. But like on my initial listen, the first three tracks that I'm going to say are my top three. It's going to change immediately after uploading this video. <laughs> it's hard. This is hard. I'm going to have to put everybody in there. That's one that I'm sure of that I really liked. I think I, yeah, that's the one where I got up and did the hit. The album is so long, I kind of forgot the some of the songs at the beginning and how they sound. Oh, I don't know if I can give a top three right now. I don't think I can. I'm just gonna list all the songs that I want to claim, because this is taking too long. Everybody, up this club up, let me calm down. The outro, just the memories. Bomb Bomb, Nicki Hendrix, Big Difference. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Cowgirl Grew On Me. This album is a collection of really, really good, good songs. I'm excited to see and hear your opinions, so go ahead and drop those down below, whether it's your top three or songs that you like the most or dislike the most. Just go ahead and comment whatever you gotta comment. I'm open for conversations down in the comments below. Just don't be rude. I try to be as respectful as possible with the things that I say because I know how barbs are. I get it. Yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and I hope y'all enjoyed what I had to say about the album as well. Make sure you follow me on my social medias. They are here and down in the description below. Like, subscribe, share with your friends, and of course, click that notification bell so you're always notified when I post more La Mickey content. Whether we get a deluxe album or, you know, performances of these songs, you never know what she has in store. She's been very mysterious with this era, so anything is possible. Thank y'all so much for watching, and I love y'all so much. I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.